Prior to the Omnic Crisis, the Earth existed in relative peace amid societal and technological progress. As artificial intelligent beings evolved, so too did scientists push the boundaries of human knowledge. One such scientist, Thebren de Kuiper, better known as Sigma, is a brilliant astrophysicist who has ventured into the darkest depths of cosmic wisdom, only to return irrecoverably altered. Hello there, and welcome to an Overwatch lore video where we explain the tale of Sigma, his experiments with black holes, and the possible mind-shattering revelations he has encountered. Dr. Sebren de Kuiper, a dedicated astrophysicist and a researcher from the Netherlands, has devoted his life to the mysteries of gravity and the potential applications of this fundamental force. His ambitions lead him to bridge the gap between two seemingly impossible theories, Albert Einstein's theory of relativity and quantum mechanics. With these theories in hand, Sigma hopes to develop a comprehensive theory of everything that could explain the fundamental forces and phenomena of the universe. Sigma's research centers on black holes, celestial objects with gravity so intense that not even light can escape. These are formed from collapsed massive stars, neutron star mergers, or where mass has intensely concentrated, creating a singularity, a point in space where gravity is so extreme that the laws of physics collapse. His fascination drives him to push the boundaries of scientific understanding, which leads to a catastrophic incident that grants him the ability to manipulate gravity. Yet this power comes at a horrific cost. The unimaginable phenomena he has encountered within the singularity has left him mentally scarred, haunted by a chilling melody. This melody is a constant reminder, a torment beyond human understanding. The concept of cosmic horror, a literary genre popularized by authors like H.P. Lovecraft, can help contextualize Sigma's suffering. These stories explore the fear and awe inspired by the realization of humanity's insignificance in the grand scheme of the universe. The exposure to the unknown has driven Sigma to the brink of madness, his mind grappling with the enormity of his experiences. The terrifying secrets he uncovered cast a dark shadow over his life, forever altering his perception of reality. Following the disastrous experiment, Sigma's existence is irrecoverably transformed. Previously an esteemed astrophysicist, he is now incarcerated within the confines of a psychiatric institution, no longer devoting his time to investigating the cosmos, instead grappling with the complexities of his own psyche. His newfound aptitude to manipulate gravity comes at a cost, as he is plagued by eerie apparitions and auditory phenomena imperceivable to others. Examining the various theories surrounding the cause of Sigma's psychological breakdown, we must consider the events that took place during his encounter with the black hole. Each perspective sheds light on a potential reason behind his descent into madness. The cosmic entity theory suggests that Sigma encountered an unimaginable cosmic entity or intelligence within the black hole. This being so vast and overwhelming could have shattered his mind simply through exposure. The melody that plays Sigma might be a remnant of the overwhelming power he experienced during his encounter. The notion to look into the eyes of God is to know madness resonates with this theory. This idea prevalent in cosmic fiction conveys that encountering the ultimate nature or a divine being can drive a person to madness. It is a theme commonly found in the works of H.P. Lovecraft where characters often face otherworldly entities resulting in insanity, despair, or a complete breakdown of their sanity. The second theory, the gravitational distortion theory, posits that the immense gravitational forces Sigma was exposed to during his time near the black hole could have irrecoverably altered his mind. These forces might have warped his consciousness, creating a distorted version of his former self. His newfound ability to manipulate gravity could be a direct result of this transformation as his mind attempts to make sense of its new reality. The third theory is known as the revelation theory. 
It proposes that Sigma glimpsed the true nature of reality, which was too much for him to bear. This revelation might have led him to a mental breakdown and subsequent obsession with the melody that now haunts him. The melody could be an echo of truths he uncovered, a constant reminder of the mysteries that lie just beyond our reality. The Universal Harmonics Theory considers that Sigma might have become attuned to the underlying harmonics of the universe, a hidden symphony that resonates throughout existence. His inability to fully grasp this newfound perception may be the cause of his madness as he struggles to make sense of the cacophony of sounds and sensations that now bombard his consciousness. The last theory can be known as the ultimate dimension theory. It speculates that the black hole might have been a gateway to another dimension or parallel universe a place where the laws of physics and reality as we know them are fundamentally different. Sigma's encounter with this alternate reality could have left him permanently scarred as his mind grapples with the contradictory information it has received. The melody that plagues him could be a manifestation of his fractured psyche, a desperate attempt to cling to a familiar sound in the face of the unknown. In an interaction with Zenyatta, Sigma claims to have met the Omni-God. From what we know, the Omnic deity is benevolent and kind. The assertion about meeting this entity raises several interesting questions and potential explanations. The melody became a vital part of Sigma's understanding of what he encountered. This tune seems to be intrinsically linked to the otherworldly powers that he gained. Some theories suggest that the melody is the key to understanding these powers, which manifests as his ability to manipulate gravity, a force previously thought to be separate from the quantum realm. Sigma also exclaims, the universe is singing to me. This statement further reinforces the idea that the melody may be the language of the Omni-God itself. By deciphering the melody, Sigma might be able to tap into a higher plane of existence or communicate with the omnipotent being. The melody could be a form of psychic echo, a lingering resonance from the terrifying experience he faced. It might serve as a constant reminder of the horrors that lurk just beyond our understanding. The melody might also be a coping mechanism for Sigma, a subconscious attempt to process the overwhelming information and emotions he experienced. By focusing on the melody, he might be attempting to regain control over his shattered mind and the powers he now possesses. If the Omni God truly exists and Sigma encountered it, the melody could be a gift or a curse bestowed upon him. This omnipotent being might have shared the melody to help him understand or as a test to see if he can withstand the weight of such knowledge. Some speculate that the Omni God may be a personification of the godlike creature Sigma faced, a way for his mind to comprehend the incomprehensible. The melody in this case would be a manifestation of the connection between Sigma and these mysterious entities. Ultimately, the true nature of the melody and the Omni God remains shrouded in mystery. As Sigma continues to grapple with his newfound powers and the remnants of his sanity, it is uncertain if the answers will ever become clear or if the melody will continue to haunt him for the rest of his days. The concept of a universal melody has been a subject of fascination throughout history. The ancient Greeks, for example, believed in the idea of a music of the spheres, a celestial harmony created by the movement of celestial bodies. This concept suggests that the universe produces a harmonic and resonant sound, which is inaudible to human ears, but can be perceived with those heightened senses or understanding. Similarly, various ancient cultures and spiritual traditions have associated specific sounds or frequencies with the divine believing that these vibrations can lead to profound spiritual experiences and insights. In Sigma's case, his exposure to these mysterious entities might have granted him access to his cosmic harmonics, further fueling his obsession. Scientists and researchers have managed to capture and convert the vibrations of the universe into actual sounds. For instance, the Laser Inferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, LIGL, has detected gravitational waves 
which are ripples in space-time created by the massive movements of objects like black holes and neutron stars. These gravitational waves can be translated into sound waves, allowing us to listen to the cosmic events that generate them. This achievement not only supports the idea of a universal melody, but also provides a fascinating connection to Sigma's experiences. It's possible that Sigma, through his interaction with these mysterious entities, gained a unique sensitivity to these cosmic vibrations, which he now perceives as the melody that constantly echoes in his mind. Sigma, in the sphere of interactive cinema known as gaming, may be one of the most unique characters to be written, voiced, and brought to life. With Blizzard exploring character backgrounds as often as I upload videos, it's true. We may never know the true torment he has endured. Thank you for watching. If you watched this far, please consider subscribing to the channel or leaving a comment. And I'll see you next time.